<laughs> Welcome to the show, my friends. Let's talk about TP. Yeah, I got rolls for days. I just keep throwing them. Wow. So, <laughs> how? Money. I know, I know. Um, but I want to know, like, how are we more than a year and a half into the pandemic? And while we hoped things would be back to normal by now, we know they aren't. And so thanks to the Delta variant continuing, infections and everything continue to rise and we're still not 100% of normal. And while we know that a lot more than we did at the start of this pandemic, some things are starting to feel a little deja vu, like the toilet paper. So CNBC is reporting that the warehouse store Costco is once again putting a limit on how many household items you can buy, including toilet paper, water, and cleaning supplies. I was so busy, by the way, back in the great TP hoarding event of 2020 that my friends were kind enough to make sure I had enough toilet paper, so they dropped it off at my house. Yep, we were fine, by the way. I do remember running out of paper towels, though, and that was actually a good lesson in conservation because, for reals, the shortage made me realize that why do I use all these paper towels? I mean, now I use a rag, I gotta do more laundry, but it wasn't a crisis, and I think overall, the last year and a half has helped us reevaluate a whole lot from work to family, to life in general, and hopefully helped us realize that we don't need 600 rolls of toilet paper to survive. Or do we? I don't know. That's the first hot topic up for debate in today's hot topic. So joining me on the couch are my friends, King Five's Elise Bryson, and our very own Susie Wiley, and finally, King Five meteorologist and the best mixologist I actually know. Well, thank you. Wow. I appreciate that. Sure. Yes, that's that's good makes... fallback if you're out of toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, well, I don't, I don't or you just won't care anymore. After <laughs> exactly. Money. Exactly. I, that's what I think. Uh, so, what do we think about this shortage of toilet paper? I mean, obviously, this isn't necessarily a hoarding issue. It's more of a right. supply chain issue. But I think it can create a hoarding issue. I think sometimes if you there's this kind of mind game. I remember a year and a half ago, I didn't need. We had enough toilet paper, but I was at Target one day and I saw a one just sitting there, a four pack, and I grabbed it and thought <laughs> I should just get this yes. just in case. And I realized, what am I doing? I don't need this. So I'm worried that it's going to cause uh -huh. people to the, start to hoard uh -huh. it, right? Yeah. The media, man, they're forcing these issues. It's good, it's good marketing. <laughs> it is. It's good marketing. I mean, the Charmin <laughs> people are not hating us right now, I'll yeah. tell you that. Well, because you had to squeeze it. I mean, it's just kind of like one these of those fidget not, things. These are, not, these are company issues. I know. Well, actually, it's, it's rather, rather rock-like, actually. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. You know, I would have to be in a desperate situation to use this to begin with. Yeah, that's, that's not feeling that great. <laughs> Seriously. That's true. Seriously. There's no snuggle there. A paperweight. But you know, I, you know, did you were pointing out the thing about paper towels. I mean, you ran out of paper towels. You used yeah. the dishcloth. But you ran out of toilet paper. You don't use the Options dishcloth. Options are less. However, use the however no. being here in the Northwest, there is an option. <laughs> What's the option? Which comes from many years in the backcountry. When you run out of this, yeah. you know, you walk through the forest here and you see this, uh, the moss hanging off the trees. Yeah. Right. Goat's beard moss. Almost as good as toilet paper. Almost as soft um, as Charmin. Better than nothing. That's <laughs> just saying. You know what, Rich? There's never a day wow. when I'm with you and I don't learn something. Goat's beard moss. Yep. Yeah. What if you choose the wrong solution. moss? I'm hoarding the goat's beard moss, actually. Probably a rash so. situation. <laughs> There's probably well, a lot. If you, if you are allergic, <laughs> yes, it makes for a long trip. <laughs> <laughs> this just took a turn. <laughs> um, all right. Well, while you're bagging up your toilet paper, the plastic bag ban is finally in effect. So uh, basically, I don't know what I'm going to use for my kitty litter. What we carry your toilet paper home in. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What do we think about this? I mean, Washington State bans all plastic bags. However, I have noticed a couple of local grocery stores have been bagging my stuff, and I'm like, what's up with this? And they're like, oh, these are biodegradable bags, or they're bags oh. that are not biodegradable necessarily, but they're bags that are yeah. oh, acceptable. Compostable. Gosh, really yeah, hard they're for me compostable to say. ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, th you know, I think we were, at least living in Seattle, we were kind of used to that before COVID. Right. Like, and with the pandemic, they started not, you know, they went back to the plastic bags, so they didn't want to touch your cloth bags. Whenever I'm out of town and someone hands me a straw, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa listen. What is that? Yes. Unless it's paper. No that. straws. No I actually straws. ask for five or six, and then I keep them in the... Yes. You got them? Yeah. yeah. Back to the hoarding. In the in car. I know. Back to the hoarding, yeah. right? She shoves them in there next to the toilet paper rolls in the glove compartment. <laughs> I like plastic bags. I understand that they're not great, but I mean, for a watermelon or something like that, I... Yeah, the big on. sturdy ones, but those, you know, the little yeah. kind of... Beige I, ones. How many yeah. watermelons are you well, feeding? Okay, well, yeah, how often are you buying watermelons? <laughs> All right, maybe she's, that's a lame excuse. She's hoarding them too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, summer's over I with. I love a watermelon. 
I, what are you doing with all these watermelons? Well, I'm eating a watermelon. Oh. I mean, but okay, it's a lame excuse, but I have contacted a few people to maybe hoard them for me. Uh, uh, okay. I love that. So you've called friends outside yeah. of the state. Said, hey, wow. keep those bags. I can get. I, I can see that. All right. All right. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do without plastic bags when it comes to trick or treating. Although my 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 kids, you know, they have the little right. monster bags. They have the reusable bags. But you know, speaking of trick or treating, how old is too old to trick or treat? Now I remember the last time I trick or treated. Is that the right? Tri yeah, I went yeah. trick or treating. We're go with that. Trick or treating. Uh, I was yeah. about sixteen. You know. Mm. I'm, there's nothing else to do that night. Is that too well? Is, well, it depends I, on what you're trick or treating for. I mean, it used to be when more people trick or treated, you know, I had I had treats for the kids and I had treats for the adults. Well, I like which was normally to warn them on those cold Halloween nights. Mm, that's a good so. point. I feel like you're completely into Halloween and I you love, love any adult. reason for a costume at any time of the year. I love it. So very much love Halloween. Yeah. Yes. I think I think if you if you're willing to put on a costume. I think you're not. You're never too old to trick or treat. I did it in Agreed. college yeah. because Agreed. I wanted candy. It was freshman year. I was away from home. I thought, hey, candy. And so, did your friends go with you? Maybe not. Wow. That was a bad thing. She got a lot of sympathy candy. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, like, I think oh, when go. kids come to my door, if they've made an effort, I don't care how old they are. If they put something on that's costume-wise, they get candy. That's the best part of having the kids, too, right? Is that they go yeah. out and get the candy for you, like the little minions yes. that they are. But yep. anymore, so, I mean, a lot of kids just don't trick or treat at all. They go to the organized like events. Like the trunk or treats, or the organized yeah. event. And so little. you end up with a huge thing like that sitting in your house, and one thing leads to another. and That's yeah. all fake. And you got to find more of this. <laughs> 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 I've noticed you haven't put that down. Are you planning on taking that with you? Oh, I mean, no, no, no. I was just keeping it warm. No, it's, you're yeah, welcome to. I mean, like, when we have guests on Nuda, we like to let them part yeah, with this the is, this is This is my treat bag. So just, <laughs> you know, you can put candy down inside of that, and you're all set. You're really, oh, wait, hold on. Stand by. <laughs> like, Here we go. It's a survival kit. Right, it it's a survival kit for the backcountry. Happy Halloween. It's funny that you put chocolate in there. <laughs> oh, good choice. <laughs> I'm not a candy fan except for oh, chocolate. Dear. Oh, I can't get it out now. <laughs> Oh, that's We're a bummer. creating a visual oh, this back is... home. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, when did the wheels come <laughs> off? I don't know. Oh. oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I will say this. Um, have you guys ever seen um, that one night, nighttime personality that takes the, the candy away from the kids and says, take your kids' the candy away and see how they react? Like, I ate all your candy. Have you not seen no. this? Oh, yeah. If it's oh, at no. night, I never see it since I, I work more. Really so. <laughs> it is funny. The kids are devastated. They go, you know, they, they film their kids saying, where's, oh, my, Easter, where's my Easter? My yeah. Halloween candy. And they're like, I ate it all. And the children's reactions are so hilarious. hilarious. Like, sad, I but hilarious. That. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the heart to do it yeah. to my kids. Also, my kids are like. I think I've, I've seen some of those on TikTok, and it's kind of like it's kind of. Oh man, really? I you know. know. Life does enough of that. And like, there's, there's always one dentist in your community that offers to buy your candy, your always. kids' candy back, Definitely. or gives you a toothbrush. Yeah, or oh, I yeah. Guess. yeah. But so I've asked I my kids, to do, do you want to sell it? And like, what? No. Some people ha have like a whole plan for it. And they'll, oh. it's, it's a whole thing. You know like what? they'll gather a lot that's and a then segment. sell it I'm back? not going to tell because that's a segment coming up oh, later. Oh, okay. mm. Northwest. How to make money after that's your right. um, Halloween candy. Speaking of coming up later, these guys aren't going anywhere. We've just begun to share our opinions. And later <laughs> in the show, the snarky panel will be, will be back to talk about a few more topics like why is mercury in retrograde a thing? We've got a meteorologist, so stick around for that. And coming welcome back. To the show. Oh, this hilarious group. Not shy at all about how they feel. So let's get right to it with a few more hot topics. So King Five Elise Bryson, our own New Day producer, Susie Wiley, and the one and only Rich Marriott. So thank you all for being here again. Yeah. Topic number one. School pictures are coming up very soon. Oh. It's a very popular time of the year. But this one little boy who went to go take his school picture oh. kept his mask on. And you know why? Oh. He says his mom told him never to take it off. Oh. Even when, well, so I have, I have things to say about this. Yeah. First of all, how do I get my kids to listen that well? There's that. Right. And Impressive. secondly, oh, this poor guy. But it is kind of a funny picture. Yeah. I think his mom at first was kind of like, why didn't he take off his mask? And then he explained that, That's, you know, you told, you told me, me not, not to. to. Even, when it, even when they said you can take off your mask for the picture, no. Nope. So I thought that was sweet. Yeah. I think it's very it's sweet. It's very sweet. It Plus, is. isn't it great a years from now to look back and have this That's one exactly picture? Right. I thought it was yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it will be nostalgic. I love an old picture. Yeah, they are fun. 
Well, you know we did the first day of school both with and without mask. Oh, just you for, did? Yeah. Of course you did. That's we did our camping well. pictures yeah. that same way. We did it with and without masks just for marking the time. Oh. Genius. Yeah. And school pictures are never supposed to be good, right? I know a lot of yeah. parents get really upset, but are they ever supposed to be great? Because aren't they to look back years later and cringe, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, I look Most so bad. I think yeah. so. I yeah. agree with that. I mean, I need. To, I actually it was really hard finding school pictures, but we found Susie's. And we just think there is nothing bad about this. Look at that uh, okay. little brownie. Oh, well, yeah, First seriously. of all, my parents forgot it was brownie day, and so they sent me in this uniform. I was mortified at the time. And then look at the bang situation. Yes. Yeah. You cut them Not, yourself? No, my mother cut them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they start like in the middle of that? It's, it's not done well. Not sure it's it's not done well, but there it is. It looks so. like you're leaving for boot camp. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. Oh, my yeah. God. Flat top and all. That is good look for you, Rich. Did yeah, your parents seriously. cut your hair like that? I mean, uh, they did the clippers? Probably. I don't remember. <laughs> I put it on my mind. I just remember butch wax. It took the finish off my headboard. Seriously, oh. it was that stuff was that mean. Wow. Seriously, not joking. It actually did. And you put that on your hair every <laughs> you day? You never thought of it as a stripper when you want to read, you know, do for furniture? Try it. Butch wax. Butch wax. Mm. They probably don't make it anymore oh. because of EPA. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I didn't. Th I was like Susie. I don't have any pictures. I'm sorry. And then I called my aunt. Boy, oh boy, did she come through! Look at that pony I blonde. I was, I was, Susie. I was very blonde when I was born, and apparently, in all the school pictures, I had this <laughs> goofy Hello. side ponytail. You love a side pony. You could bring that back. Yeah, well, Susie. I don't know. I thank mm -hmm. goodness for braces too. That's all I got to say about that. This is great. Eyebrows. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. You look like a little TV child. You're adorable. On Little House in the Prairie, yes. yes. I'm Seriously. loving that. And I love a little bit of the bang is yeah. uncut right there yeah. on the side. It's perfect. Oh, you win for cute. And then this one. Oh, oh, this yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Is that a perm? It is a perm. Evolving. Yes. Very yes. nice. Very much yes. a perm. Yeah, seriously. <gasps> I love that you got you, a perm as a child. How old were you? I'm not sure, but I am wearing jelly bracelets. I remember those jelly I bracelets. I love oh. jelly bracelets and mm. jelly shoes. Yep, they were the best. And then this, oh, is, that's Joseph. Joseph. Hi, this is our executive producer, Joseph, and I wow. keep this picture and I put it in here because it is quintessential, the best school picture I've ever seen. Ever. The ever. The teeth, the grin, the glasses, and look at the bangs. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. There's a theme here. Oh my gosh, I love this <laughs> all. This is so enjoyable. We have to, Susie, we got to put all this on the Insta website you later so people can go back and, and take another look. So, you know, maybe we can model our yes. new pictures <laughs> after it. <laughs> well, speaking of the Insta webs, okay, so Facebook, who owns Instagram, they say they're going to pause the rollout of the new kids' Instagram, which I didn't even know was a thing mm -hmm. until someone mentioned it yeah. yesterday. What do we think about this? Is this a good idea? Kids, they have kids' YouTube, which I, I like. Yeah, there's some good parts of that. You know, it's they kind of monitor. What do you think? I, uh, they expected this to be good. I mean, seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. it's bad for adults. Right. So, I mean, for kids, it seems crazy. I mean, you get yeah. knocked down soon enough without seeking it Amen. out. Amen, right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I wonder what they, it would be on there. Something uh, Facebook could make, make money. You yeah, know that. that's true. So. That's true. I always say to people, I'm so glad that I didn't grow up in my 20s with Instagram. Right. Because looking oh. at all these perfect, perfect people with their perfect <laughs> airbrush, I would have been like perfectly right. devastated. Yes. Agreed. And I think um, the Wall Street Journal just put out a report that said that Facebook's known that mentally this wasn't, isn't a great thing for kid, kids, especially girls, on Instagram. It's something like a third of all the girls that they surveyed have issues with how they feel when they see Instagram. And I'm thinking, why then do we want it why for our we, children yeah. early? Yeah. And they say that there'll be, you know, some kind of controls for the parents, but I... Yeah, that know, sounds good on paper. It. Let's just say, let's keep it on pause. Let's in keep it on yeah. pause. Agreed. All right, final topic, ladies and gentlemen, today. I can't wait to get to this. Mercury is in retrograde. I think it's in retrograde until the 17th of October. Happens three times a year. People say Mercury in retrograde is the time where things go kind of cattywampus, especially with communication, because Mercury, the god Mercury, is. What'd you say? It's cattywampus. Oh. You know, no, communication problems. Communication. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, sorry. Wow. It's getting a little deep there. Sorry. <laughs> I'm off the uptake I am today. It's early for you. I mean, it is. It's, it's dinner not, time you've been for up me. For hours. Yeah, <laughs> and thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, meteorologist. I know it's an optical illusion, right? That Mercury is in retrograde. Oh, it is. Yeah, because it's just it moves. It's a planet's passes. It's like a car. You know, if you slow down, okay, mm -hmm. and the car goes past you, it looks like you're going backwards to them. 
Right. Ooh, yeah, so same sort of thing. I had so no idea. Before. Or you might be going backwards. You never know. It's Seattle drivers. Do you feel that it is a time of a miscommunication? I mean, you just saw it in action. I'm not going to lie. Um, no. No. <laughs> in a word, no. I mean, I, I agree. I like you. Yeah, that's <laughs> Enough. That's Final thoughts since we're out of time. I will say, hey, listen, why not just at this time when you hear Mercury and retrograde, just take a little extra time to check that email sure. one more time or, you know. Yes. That's Visit contract. your local store right. get some more toilet right. paper. Get some more toilet paper. Thank you all <laughs> for joining me on the couch. And thank you for spending time with us today. If you want to see uh, any of these segments that we do on the show, we've got so much extra content for you at NewDayNorthwest.com. So go around. We'll see you later. Have a great day.